Welcome to the latest installment of my blog, dmasters.com. My name is Toby Barris, and today I will be covering how to take the technical indicator data created with a quant mod package in R that I demonstrated on Saturday. And today I'm going to show how you can create a forecast using the automated neural networks in Statistica. Here you can see uh, the .csv file that I've imported that I created last Saturday. I will attempt to make a forecast of the closing price using the various technical indicator data shown here. I'll just scroll over. There's a few of the columns that you can't see on the screen to begin with. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'll use the automated neural networks. Uh, I'm going to use a time series regression. And I have to specify the variables. And first of all, I'm going to say that the continuous target is going to be the yahoo.close. I'm going to use the the volume and also all these other technical indicators and before I actually do the forecast I'd like to give you this disclaimer that uh, you will if you do use this uh, some of the the techniques that are shown today you do so at your own risk uh, I cannot be held responsible for um, your trading losses that you might incur using such a model um, you incur those risks um, at your own expense. Okay, so let's go ahead and just click OK. I've selected the variables. I'm going to go over here to the time series and I'm going to use uh, five steps as inputs and I want to predict five steps into the future. And the step is going to be a day in this case. Uh, you could use radial basis functions. Um, I'm not going to choose to do so. I've sh um, demonstrated um, to myself in the past few days as I've been researching this that the multi-layer perceptrons do the best job in this case. So we'll just use the default. Um, we'll train 20 networks and we'll retain five of the top ones. I'll leave the other defaults and so I won't go ahead and, and show you those at this time. You'll see that there's a different uh, sizes of networks and also the activation functions and the number of cycles to minimize the training and test error. There are the 20 networks of were created and it's kept the top five here. It shows the, um, the performance for the different data sets. Um, I'm going to check that I want to look at all the, the train test and validation data together. Uh, I'll go first of all to the time series tab and show you the time series data. So this just shows the lagged data. Let me go over here. And then if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see that it has made predictions for all this lagged data, five data steps into the future. And so now I can go to the um, predictions tab and I'm going to use the ensemble, which will essentially just take the voted um, result or the average result I should say in this case of the five best networks and take the average of, of the those predictions and so I'm going to do ensemble and you'll if I scroll to the bottom here you'll see that um, there are five data points that have been uh, predicted for in the future okay so um, this was using data from last Friday so I could go out and see how well my prediction did um, for today. The prediction for Monday, um, August 12th, was 27.03 for the closing price. I checked, um, it actually, Yahoo did pretty well today. It was up a little over 2%, almost 3%. And so it was closed at over 28. So there would have been a little bit of a, a gap between what was predicted and what actually the close price was. Hey, but you can see, get the idea that you can use these automated neural networks very effectively uh, to be able to create a forecast, but we have to always acknowledge that all forecasts are wrong um, to some level. And so, um, again, the disclaimer is, is that this is really just was for more f demonstration purposes of how you could do such a, a model. Um, but I would encourage you not to um, take the information here. Um, and do make trading decisions with it. 